it's a really a, a unique product in the sense that it has several different functions that we've used it for uh, thus far. Uh, predominantly uh, breaking soil tension um, on greens um, and also utilizing it as a how can I say it we sprayed our fairways with Primo and also with a growth uh, um, plant, plant regulators and instead of putting dye in it we actually added Pantera to uh, break away and, and uh, uh, knock off the dew off the plant so we could actually see where we're spraying without having to uh, spend a lot of money on blue dye and make it more efficient so we could actually start earlier in the morning we were actually able to start uh, spraying our fairways and tees in the dark and had zero skips so it's uh, that way it was very uh, very helpful do you, do you, does you notice a, a big difference when spraying Pantera you know that even in that early in the morning you can notice where the dews oh definitely with the, with no spotlights just using the spray rigs lights um, I was able to two o'clock actually we started to amazing the members didn't kill us for that but uh, started two o'clock in the morning and once you turned around at a 16 ounce rate the dew was gone Wow now um, this was with a, a product that we actually watered in it was a foliar product but with Primo uh, and, and at growth regulators we actually put in about eight ounces and it helps. We're, we're still messing around, trying to uh, figure out what rate will best suit where we're not burning through your Caraba collaboration of what you know that works for, for uh, uh, dangerous levels of not watering in Pantera. Right. Um, what about like during the winter, you know, I mean, since you talked about uh, dew suppression, what were some of the things you guys did with as far as frost prevention? I know there's a lot of folks out there that are really interested in snow mold and things like that. You know, just the amount of money it takes to recover from frost. Right. And maybe that would be a, I think a lot of people would be interested in, especially as you move north where people have to really start focusing, you know, on the upcoming fall and winter. You know, what are some of the things you've done here, you know, with Pantera to, to address those things? Um, we were applying uh, Pantera and HydroGrow together with iron sulfate mm -hmm. as a green up. Uh, uh, product uh, during the winter months just to help keep a, a good color on the fairways and tees and what we actually have found at that point in time we were going at a uh, quart per acre right. of Pantera. So, so you were using the hydrogo as a chelating agent on the together with the iron sulfate that right. is correct okay. we were chelating our iron sulfate and then also putting a wetting agent in it and our main purpose at first was a also to get um, was basically just to, to keep the water moving through our fairways and moving through our tees, um, you know, and just it, just keeping the water moving in the winter months. And what we actually had discovered, that's when we discovered that the dew suppression uh, is so great with Pantera that you can use it for the alternate purposes that I j had just discussed. But um, also what we have found that we had happened to have a frost within... Uh, I think it was four or five days after we had applied the Pantera uh, together with the Hydrogro and the Iron Sulfate and on our tees and our fairways we had zero frost and even what makes it very distinct is in the areas where we overlapped into rough areas with the larger turf still we had zero frost accumulate on those leaf blades due to the fact that there was no dew or moisture around those leaf blades at uh, 6, 6.30 when, you know, the frost started forming um, due to the open clear skies and your typical frost you conditions. You saw some pretty significant differences once after the fact, after the frost was right. gone. If, if there was areas that had a little bit of frost on it that we had sprayed, the recovery was twice as fast. Mm -hmm. um, the grass recovered in rough areas where we did not overlap or did not spray it took uh, several weeks for the frost damage to recover um, due to that timing of the year but uh, the Pantera's did recover it did come back pretty quickly um, on the greens we also used it um, predominantly for water movement uh, breaking the soil tension and making sure that the water uh, keeps moving through the soil and replacing it with air in those type of months when you know, cold weather, a lot of car tra uh, golfers on the green, a lot of rolling, stuff like that, just to 
keep uh, the water penetrating through the thatch surface work great. Now let's skip forward. Now we've gone here in southwest Florida we we basically just are coming out of a very significant drought. I mean here at your club you basically had to shut down part of the course from getting water, right? Right, fairways and roughs. We yeah. were down for three weeks, no water on the fairways and roughs. Um, and we were applying prior to the water restrictions kicking in. Uh, we were at a every three or four weeks, it's every four weeks, we were applying um, HydroGrow, HumaWet, and HydroHawk at uh, all, all of them at two quarts per acre rate and then we watered in behind it. Um, it was basically what we have noticed is that once the drought hit we and we shut down for three weeks the turf hung on a lot longer than it normally would but the significant is I spoke to a superintendent down the road that did not apply any of these things on his fairway and right now ten days into the rainy season uh, for us at our these two clubs, he's still struggling with fairways that's not recovering. Um, we're already mowing at uh, 400, 450 wow. on our fairways, and all our fairways have recovered 100 percent within 10 days of get, starting to get water. Um, awesome. And and it's amazing. It, we contributed uh, to that. Um, and then for also can kind of jump along, we discussed it this morning that we've seen, we've noticed due to the hydrohawk application that our nematode areas has actually declined. Our nematode pressure areas have just gone, uh, it's just amazing. We had a fairway that uh, was just absolutely horrible because of nematode pressure and just uh, a lot of sugar sand. So it was a constant battle on that fairway, and now it <laughs> it's our best fairway out there. It wow, awesome. really looks the best of them all. Well, Rian, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. And, no uh, problem. And uh, we, uh, we'll be checking back and see how it progresses through the rainy season. Thank you. All right. Thank you.